Α, δεν έχει κάποτε πρόβλημα. Πάντα έλεγα ότι ήμουν Ελληνίδα και, σχολεία, και στα παιδιά του σχολείου Ελληνίδα με έβλεπαν. Δεν με έβλεπαν σαν Αμερικανίδα. Και, αλλά όταν πηγαίνω στην Ελλάδα και με του φίλου μου εκεί, με βλέπουν σαν Αμερικανίδα. Λοιπόν, είμαι στη μέση η Ελληνίδα ή η Αμερικανίδα. Εσύ πώ νιώθει με αυτό σου, ή δεν είναι πρόβλημα. Νομίζω να είσαι και... Είμαι, είμαι και τα δύο. Νομίζω εννοείται ότι είμαι και τα δύο, επειδή μεγάλωσα εδώ, έχω γεννηθεί και εδώ. Αλλά επειδή η οικογένειά μου είναι πάρα πολύ περήφανη που είμαστε, μεγάλωσα στην ελληνική εκκλησία με το ελληνικό σχολείο, ελληνικού χορού και διάφορα τέτοια, και νομίζω είμαι και τα δύο. I'd say Greeklish, a little bit a mix of Greek and English at home. Um, my my father, who came from Greece, spoke mostly Greek, so I'd speak to him in Greek. And my mom, who was born here, even though her parents are from Greece, I speak more English with. I'd say I'm not exactly fluent in Greek, but I, I read, I can write it, I can understand it. I might have some problems here and there, but for the most part, I know it pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, especially downstairs where my grandparents are, they only watch Greek TV. What are they gonna do with you know English TV? Um, my father brings home I think Koskirika every day, and yeah, we listen to Greek music in the car all the time. I have Greek music on my iPod. My father is a very, very talented cook. He'll, he only will cook, you know, very Greek foods. My mother, too. We're definitely, you know, the house is very uh, Greek-oriented in terms of what we eat. So that's a definite. And, and you also buy Greek Yeah, products. of course. This Greek specialty to stores uh, is probably where we, where we do most of our shopping for. It's the living room. Uh, όταν μετακομίσαμε από το, το Flushing στο Whitestone, ε, ο ένας φίλος του πατέρα μου ήταν ζωγράφος. Και στο living room, έχει, we, we've divided the room. Από τη μία μεριά είχε ζωγραφεί στη μάνη. Από την άλλη την άφπακτο, στο λιμάνι. So as you walk in, είναι σαν να είσαι σε ένα μπαλκόνι και έχεις από τη μία μεριά τη μάνη και από την άλλη την άφπακτο. So anytime you feel homesick, πηγαίνεις εκεί, και το βλέπεις κιόλας. Είναι ωραίο. I think that they did it subliminally. Always, you're always open to each person. You treat everybody as equals. But subliminally, there's always been the underlying. There's going to be emphasis. A emphasis on like Greek husband, Greek family, Greek children, which is something I love. You know, I'm dating my boyfriend and he's Greek. So I've been with him for three and a half years. I know that it's the same thing. I would want that. I have nothing against if you intermarry. It's a beautiful thing. If you love each other, it's great. But it's something that's instilled in me that I want to have a complete <laughs> thing of having just a complete Greek culture. I would definitely take that opportunity. That would be a, a great experience, I think to go to Greece and to experience a, an internship or a short period uh, job because um, although a lot of students have been there for vacation, uh, a lot of students haven't lived there for during the year to see how real life is. So it's not, it's not only vacation or summertime, there's also um, a way to experience Greece as someone who lives there, which is a totally different experience and I think that that would be really cool. Well. I'm the youngest of five, so I came way later. My, my, sister, my youngest sister closest to me was 20 when I was born. So we have a big age gap. They're all married with kids. And you know, to answer that question, I, I would think of my nieces and my nephews, you know, if, they feel, if they would feel as strongly connected as I do. And I do think it's a little bit in jeopardy because I, I see my sisters who, two of my sisters married um, Greek men, and one of my sisters married a Portuguese man and my brother, his wife is Greek as well, but they just, they don't speak Greek at home. Only, only one of them really does, I would say. And I don't think that in the future, unless they maybe develop Greek friendships or, you know, they go to Greece every summer as well, but 
they've just been brought up differently. So I would say that that maybe would jeopardize, you know, that strong cultural feeling that I feel as opposed to, you know, in the future, how they would view themselves as Greeks. Τα χαρακτηριστικά για την ελληνική κουλτούρα νομίζω είναι the fact that they enjoy life. Πηγαίνουν στα καφενεία, συζητάνε και they take life slowly. Που είναι καλό, αλλά if you do it too much and it becomes an extreme, τότε δεν είναι καλό. Και στην κινέζικη κουλτούρα um, έχουν πολύ σεβασμό για τους γονείς for those that are older than you και ρίχνονται και στα μαθήματα, so they're very studious. Και αυτά είναι the good points. Αλλά συνήθως οι φίλες μου, οι Κινέζες, το παρακάνουνε και μετά εγώ τους λέω, you should take a breather, αλλά να βγούμε να πάμε κάπου να ηρεμήσουμε λίγο, έτσι. Οπότε συνδυάζεις και το ελληνικό στοιχείο ναι. στις, στις Κινέζες φίλες mm-hmm. σου. Με τις φίλες μου, τις Ελληνίδες, τότε είμαι πιο πολύ σαν Κινέζα. Επειδή εκείνες λένε, «ΟΚ, okay, να πάμε να πούμε ένα καφέ» και εγώ τους λέω, «ΝΟ, no, έχετε έκθεση του αύριο, πρέπει να καθίσουμε να το κάνουμε». Και με τις σκηνάζες τους λέω, «ΟΚ, okay, stop studying, πρέπει να βγούμε λίγο». I do think that we should support our, our fellow Greeks, because um, as far as I believe, most of us have family that are still in Greece who we probably keep in touch with. Like, I'm not talking about like people you've never met who just happen to be related, but first cousins, second cousins, aunts, uncles, who you, you know, care about and you want to support. And even if that's just a moral support, that's something because um, it's just like, I think it's the Greek way. I think, you know, we talk about, um, being hospitable to people and like it's a big deal you know someone comes to your house you offer them all the food you have you offer whatever you have because you want to make them feel at home um, and that's true even with non-greek sometimes you know I've brought a bunch of my friends to like my dad's restaurant and he always treats them like he would if I had brought in a Greek person because it's more about being nice and being you know a good human being to someone else and I think those are the sort of values that Greeks really believe in and that all this bad stuff has sort of clouded that and made people forget that. Um, whether it's the media's fault, whether it's just, you know, people seeing what they want to see and not what they want, don't. Um, again, huge debates. But um, I am confident it might be a long process. It probably will be if we're going to be completely serious. But, you know, I have hope, and that's all you can really do. <laughs>